everyone I hope everybody's doing well today in this tutorial I'm going to be doing a requested video it is my everyday Glenn makeup so by the title you guys are gonna know what it is already it's my 2019 everyday simple but ultimate glam makeup tutorial we're gonna look like a bronze goddess we're gonna look so bronze to a point where summer is literally going to have nothing on us so let's get straight into it I'm going to first start off with my primer for my whole face but I need to move my hair out of my face okay so starting off with my Australis Midas Serum Primer and just dotting this all over our face. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I live and breathe Australis. So when it comes to the primers or any products got to do with Australis, it's just, I just, I just can't get enough. So I usually go in with my, um, my hands actually. But for the sake of this video, and because we want to look a little bit professional, you know, I'm going in with a stippling brush. There's nothing wrong with going in with your hands as well. What I like to do is I'll prime my lips as well while I'm at it, just so my lip products can go on better. But after you've glown yourself up, glown, after you have glown, is it glown? So after you prep your skin, then we move straight into my concealer for my eyes because I like to now days, as you guys know through my recent tutorials, I got a little speckle there. Um, I like to do my uh, makeup in reverse. So I do my eyeshadow first. It's a lot easier and it's a lot more convenient that way. So in saying that, I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light to conceal my eyelids. Should we do our brows first? Hmm, do our brows first. Sorry, but we're going to keep it real today. And keeping it completely something you guys can reach out to. You guys know I live and breathe my, where is it? My Benefit um, Cabrera in the shade 5, but an OG product of mine from the drugstore Drugstore being like Priceline, Target, Kmart, Big W, you know, all of those easy, easily reachable places is the Maybelline Brow Satin in the shade of Black Brown. I love this product. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog barking. She knows I'm upstairs and wants to come here, but I can't let her because my lights are so So I'm just going to be brushing my brows. And then I'll be tracing the line of where my brows start, so the natural line of my brows. And I'm so sorry if you guys are having like a horror story through the camera, like through the screen, because brows are meant to be sisters. Brows are just meant to look at least related and mine don't even look like cousins at the moment. They are not related whatsoever. I have to, you know, adult up and maybe go to my brow lady in the near future like in the very near future. But I just, I can't be bothered, you know? Just can't be bothered. All right, so I basically just traced the beginning of my brows, as you guys saw, and also the little tail and like that arched area just there. And then, hang on, hang on, hang on. Going too fast. And then what I like to do is comb them, comb them, brush them with my spoolie just to, you know, blend it in together. We can stop right here because we look flawless at the moment, but we are going to move over to the powder side because this comes double side, it comes with a pen and then it comes with the powder. And I'll just, you know, tap this into it slightly, ever so slightly. And that just makes me feel complete. Now I know I've got my brows done and you know, seriously, being so open with you guys, this is basically half the time how I walk around. I'll just put a moisturizer on, not a primer. I'll put a moisturizer on and that's it, Bob's your uncle. That's how I walk around throughout the day. I don't have makeup on 24 seven like you guys might think, but we don't look that on for leak all the time. So moving straight into my concealer, as I said, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 light. And I'm going to just be popping this. You can say heavily handed, that does look heavily handed onto my eyelids and then hang on I go too fast for myself honestly honestly and then from the south seat today oh my god what's going on I kind of changed up my room so like my brushes are on this side so I can have this area free for myself and then I'm just grabbing my Real Techniques 201 brush and just literally buffing that in 
at this point if you really want to you can carve out your brows so you look somewhat put together while we're doing the tutorial but I don't usually do that so I completely miss it I'm not gonna lie to you girls I'm doing it for your sake at the moment Girls got OCD issues. Make sure we do the same thing on the other side. All right, quickly, very, very quickly, we're going to be setting that with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder Foundation in the shade medium tan and setting that in with my Real Techniques setting brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but this is your bad boy. Now throughout this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just one palette that you can use for your face and your eyes as well. So I wanted to keep it very minimal with its products. I didn't want you to be reaching out to everywhere. Like if you are going to do this sort of look before work, before a meeting, before an interview, I wanted it to be something that you guys can get ready Pop it on your face in like 15 to 20 minutes, maximum half an hour, and you're done out the door. Uh, this look goes really well with or without lashes. With lashes, it looks somewhat a bit more glam, but that's what I'm going for today. But you guys can use it without lashes as well. Just putting that little disclaimer out there. So in saying that, I'll be using my Tarte Clay Play. I can never say that. It's such a tongue twister. Clay Play. My Tarte Play Play palette is is perfect for your smoky, you know, sort of everyday bronze glam, exactly what this video is, sort of look. And you can also contour your face with this as well. The only thing you can't do is put blush on and highlight because it is a very matte palette. But in saying that, like I said, I'm going to try to keep it very minimal with its products. I'm going to be going in with the shade Soul Stice and just trying to find a brush. I'm grabbing my BH Cosmetics brush in eight. Just this flat top brush over here and popping that all over your eyelid. This is just going to be like a base shape so it can like sort of, I'll show you at the end, hang on. All right, see how that eyelid over here looks a lot more like a canvas and then over here you've just got your straight band whack powder on your face. And then for my crease shade, I want to go in with the shade Amber. And for that, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics brush in the number six. Again, I don't know why I'm using my face as a canvas, but this is what the brush looks like. So like a fluffy blending brush, if you will. Grabbing the pigment and putting this straight onto the crease to make it a smoky look. Well, it's the transition, but what I like to do, because I've got so much area on my eyelid, I can use my transition as my crease shade as well. So it's like a two in one, you know, you hit two birds with one stone. But I, whatever I have left on the brush, barely anything, I then take it up into my brow bone, focusing the main shade in my crease. So that's just the shade Amber. Then moving into a sort of more <sighs> smokier sort of shade, I'm just going to be going in with the shade Smoke with the same brush, but picking only a little bit because this palette is so pigmented, like the word pigment has literally nothing on it. So just dabbing your brush once in the palette and I am flicking the excess off and focusing this in the outer corner, but on the crease and just smoking it in. Like even that, I barely touched it and that even made the biggest difference, you can see. So the point of this shade is just literally smoke the look a little bit more and make it look tiny bit more darker, just to give it that bronze goddess look. There we go, that's it, that's all I'm going to do. That's all I really just have to be blend this a little bit in because it means me. And that's it. Like, can you guys see the difference? That one's a lot more flat, it just looks brown. Perfect if you guys like that. And then this one looks a bit more smoky, a bit more sassy, and a bit more sultry, you know? Perfect. All right, so that's basically half my eyes done. I'm just going to use that white shade solstice on my inner corner skin just to give it a bit of oomph to the look, put it together, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to be using my BH Cosmetics brush in the, in the shade in 10. So we're just going to focus this in our inner corner either. Why, you may ask? I don't even know. Moving straight into my foundation because it's an everyday glam and I'm not just saying this because I can just say this, but I'm saying it because I genuinely mean it. I literally use 
for an everyday basis, sometimes for even my high glam looks. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige. Now I know you guys can't get this here in Australia. If you order it online, hallelujah. I know that uh, Capital Cosmetic Capital does sell it. Um, I will link it down below. But I bought this when I was overseas, and the closest foundation in formula, in texture, in the way it feels, in the way it fades off, in the way everything, in the way of everything is the. And I'm not saying it because I love the brand. I'm just that out there. But I'm just saying it because I'm being so open with you guys. Is the Australis Stay Put Foundation? Do I have it? I know I have it. Hang on. All right, there we go. I even have backups. So is um, the Australis Stay Put Foundation. I used to wear this foundation oh, back in the day when I was like in year eight and it's still perfect with its formula, with it, the way, because we used to do PE. PE is something that you guys do like sports and that would literally, as the name suggests, Stay Put Foundation, it does not slide. I used to use Napoleon Purtis the stick and I used to find that it's a slide on my chin and on my nose and I used to be like, why? But then when I used to use this, which is like 10 times cheaper than the Napoleon Purtis stick, foundation because that's like what $14.95, $15.95 in price line and the Napoleon Purtis stick is like $60 in comparison so but that's perfect for an everyday glam and so is this one so I'm just going to be using this bad boy on my face today and if you can and if you use the Australis Ultra Dark, Austra, not Australis, Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Tan, this shade, Desert Beige, is perfect. If you're going to go get the Stay Put Foundation and you want a shade for that one, I used to use either Natural Fawn with the Medium Tan Setting Powder or the Fawn. Fawn's a little bit more lighter and a bit more pink based. And just using my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush to stick all this in because your girl is lazy and can't be bothered with wetting her beauty blender so you know we're just gonna have to deal with it which is most likely the case most of the times did you guys see i, I did my ear as well but you know don't forget the ears they're a part of your face such a flawless finish like come on i always used to forget that area because my lips are like literally they like bend over so i should always forget this area and now we look human. Hello. Okay, because we're not doing a glam book, I am not going to go with the second layer. If I was doing a glam book for a night out or whatnot, I would definitely go with the second layer. But this coverage is literally perfect for me. You can still see a bit of my blemishes, like that little boy who's not paying rent over there and this area. But in all, it's a perfect coverage for everyday use and high end if you go with the second layer. Now hang on because my mouth is getting dry. So straight after that, I'm going to go in with my concealer again using my Maybelline fit me in the shade 10 and underneath my eyes I'm gonna go a bit heavy because I, I don't know why but I've just got like red under eyes for some reason I should have color corrected my face but that's not what I do every single day and you know we're keeping it look real here on my channel today as we do every day just I am and we're just going to be putting this in like a triangular motion but flipping it out at the end so it's not so harsh perfect 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 concealer I actually in all of my honesty have no problems with this concealer I probably bought it a couple of hundred times so using my foundation brush, the F80 Flat Kabuki brush, just stippling the ends so it blends in really well. Not that this concealer like sets quick, it just it's average with its setting. But you know, just to cure my OCD and flicking out the ends, we're going to get underneath the eyes in a bit, but just blending all of this pizzazz. And then when you come to the inner corners, again, grabbing your, what is this? Grabbing your concealer brush that we use in the very beginning for our eyelids and just Feel me down. I can't talk. Over here, you can like sort of sharpen out your mm, what's that called? Eyeshadow, and again, redefine your brows if you want to. Using our Fresh and Flawless Press Powder Foundation, we're just going to be setting our face, and I'll be using my BH Cosmetics brush in one. It's just a big, fat, fluffy brush. First setting underneath your eyes because you did conceal there and you don't want that to crease and then going all over your face. Okay, going in with the Tarte Clay Play palette, I'm going to be using the shade Desert 
to contour my face. So I'm just using my Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. It's just like a angled brush for your cheeks. And then going in where you naturally would contour, if you can't find your contour, your cheekbones, pull your lips to the side and then you'll find that chiseled area. So tapping that shade, it's very pigmented as you can see. And then after you tap in, blend that bad boy in. I'm just merely touching the shade, by the way. Not so heavy handed, that's just with one wipe, basically, like one touch in the palette. And you're all contoured up. And then doing the same thing for your jawline to hide that double chin up. And that's it for my cheeks at the minute. Now I'm moving into my nose contour using my NARS Ida brush, grabbing that shade and swiping it up and down. Just like that. Okay, so moving into the cheeks. Like I said, I wanted to keep uh, complete. I wanted to keep it completely bare minimum with its products. So from the Moles Own Sculpt and Glow Palette in the shade Natural Light or 10, I'm going to be using this shade over here. And then going in with my multitasker brush from Real Techniques, patting that into it, grabbing pigment, smiling, and bouncing that on and off and then buffing your chin. This palette is perfect because it has like shimmers throughout the whole palette. So in saying that, grabbing this bronze shade over here with my, I used to have a name, my Napoleon Purtis BR7 brush and literally going over my contour with that just to bronze up the look because we are going for a blonde, bronzed up glam and going straight over my contour so it just like warms it up see rather than looking flat I don't use this brush anymore it like sheds she did me well in her time perfect 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 now don't close the palette. Using that gold shade over there for my highlight and grabbing my Tarte brush. I don't know which one this is, but it's the ones that have the star on the end. It came in like a holiday pack. If not, let me show you something that I use on an everyday basis. Is my Models Prefer MPD 103 highlighter brush. Highlighter and contour brush this one is. And sweeping that on the high tops of our cheekbones. Love, we glow on the tip of our nose and we're popping and on our cupid's bow so our lips look fuller not stopping there that brush that you also used for the inner corner of your eyes grabbing that yellow shade again the highlight and popping that on top of that white shade so that just like pops as well you know and then the same thing on the high top of our brow, brow bow so that's basically done our face. Now setting our brows and I'll be using my L'Oreal Paris, L'Oreal, L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark. And this just sets your brows in for the whole day. I think this has got like a filler effect in it because it also like sort of looks more fuller when you put this on. Your brows look a lot more fuller. So moving into my uh, mascara, I've got two here that are oh, all well, three that I use on like an everyday basis if I'm going to put mascara. One's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and the other are the Essence Get Big Lashes or the Essence I Heart Extreme Volume Boost Mascara. Now for this tutorial I'm going to use the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara and just put like one coat of mascara on. It's a fat sort of domed wand and then I'll be doing my bottom lashes later on but as you can see if I was done my bottom lashes and my lips that's it that's all I'll do but for the sake of this video your girl's gonna put some lashes on so I'll be using my Ilua Luxe Baroque lashes and I will be right back with you guys when I put this bad boy on So while our lashes are drying, we'll just go into our lips and I'll be using the Essence Lip Liner in the shade 11 in the nude. And this is just basically your everyday, your lips, but better sort of shade. God, this pencil's like sharper than my future. 
And then for my lips, as an everyday sort of look, you can leave it like this. This will last you all day. Very easy to put the lip liner not on the floor but in your bag and take it to work or wherever you're going but in saying that for the sake of the video I am going to be putting on a few lipies I'm joking um I tend to go for the Australis Demi Matte Lip Creams in any shade I love them all they're also neutral they're also beautiful um this one's in the shade Fearless if not that bad boy I do tend to more than often go for the Essence either matte lip creams or their lipsticks because they're so hydrating but also matte as well so you don't feel like you're stuck you know and this one's in the shade um zero two so that's the matte 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 zero two or i also like the nyx liquid suede lip creams they're the also like a more matte long lasting sort of thing and then i have the um what is this the rimmel london stay matte liquid lip colors they are amazing as well as for an everyday sort of jazz but today i don't know if i want to go for the essence matte lipstick or the liquid suede nyx liquid suede you know what we're gonna do the liquid suede so this one is in the shade 07 Sandstorm. See how like nude it is? And then just topping my mascara up on the bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are like really long. So if I don't do much to them, that's all I will do. Because then it just drags my look down. Like see, that already, I just touched it. Please. All right, we're gonna have to deal with that later on. And then for our last step, which is our setting sprays. Now, I love the Australia setting sprays, and I also love the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. The long lasting setting spray, and this is the bad boy that we're going to be using today. You see that? I like that. All right, so holding it literally about 20 to 30 centimeters away from your face. I'm making a rain. Yes! So childish. So, so childish of me. I forgot something, but I really did. All right, that's it there for the complete makeup look. If you guys like it, please don't forget to give this video a like. It helps me out so, so much. Also, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am trying my very best to get to 1,000 subscribers for a big, massive giveaway that I am getting ready for. I've got a couple of palettes, but that is the complete look. This is literally how we'll do my makeup if I am going to do my makeup for that day. I would do this either minus lashes or if I want to go full glam, I will put the lashes on but for the sake of this video I did go ahead and I did put the lashes on once again if you guys have any video questions please leave them in the comments down below I am so 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 grateful for each and every one of you thank you for the new subscribers you guys are being seen I genuinely love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you guys in the next three days